Hi everyone and welcome to DeFi Daily, the channel where every day we talk about DeFi and the different opportunities that uh, this world is offering us through different analysis, tutorials and news. Today we are going to talk about uh, the difference between APR and APY and what is the right time to compound your earnings. So. Before to start, I have a, a quick disclaimer. Always remember that all the contents in this channel are here just for educational purpose and nothing has to be intended as a financial advice. Always do your own research before uh, investing in anything. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to be always updated to uh, all the contents that I will go publishing day by day. And if you want to also receive a notification, just press the ring bell. And please leave a thumbs up to help you spread the word and reach more people. Okay, let's jump into the topic and let's start having a look to Pancake Bunny. That is a platform that I already done a tutorial a couple of days ago. And if you want to know more about it, you can find the link in the right corner here. But going on, as you can see here, you can find an APR. And for example, if you click here, you can find also an APY. So what is the difference between APR and APR? Uh, APR, it means the interest that you will earn if you are not compounding uh, your earnings in the whole year. APY instead means the, po uh, the potential uh, earnings that you can uh, reach if you start compounding your earnings day by day. But let's try to understand what is the ideal uh, frequency that you have to use to maximize your earnings. To understand it, you we can use a calculator. If you just try to look into Google, uh, looking for APR with uh, APY calculator or something like that, you will see that there are many different tools that are all free that you can use to calculate uh, what kind of APY you will receive if you start compounding your earnings at different time frames. For example, I chose, I think this, this is this one, I'm using this kind of platform because it's really interesting because as you can see here down here, there are the difference in the APY that will, you will obtain changing the frequency on uh, how often do you compound your earnings. Let's say that you are not compounding in the whole year and let's suppose the APR is around 300%. Just compounding one time uh, more uh, after six months during the year, you will see that your uh, earnings will jump like two times because if you compound after six or every six months, you will start earning 525% instead of just 300. And increasing uh, every time more the frequency of your compounding interest, as you can see, uh, the number, the APY start increasing, at least uh, until you reach uh, the time frame around the weekly or the daily. As you can see, the difference between weekly time frame and a daily time frame is not so high because we are going from uh, 1700 to 1800. Okay, it's 100%, that's a lot, but nothing comparing uh, the difference between 300 and 500. From here to here, it's like uh, doubling your earning. Going from here to here is just receiving uh, uh, a small percentage uh, more than what you were just receiving. And if you increase uh, uh, the frequency even more, uh, you're going to from daily to hourly, as you can see, the earnings that you will start uh, uh, receiving more, it's quite uh, not so much. Not, you will not receive so much money more. For example, you will go from a 1,884% to around 1,900. Yes, it is something, something more, but not so much. And even doing it continuously, you will just earn going from uh, 1907 to 1908. So the difference is quite small. What does it mean? It means that 
Compounding your earnings, your rewarding, is something that I highly recommend you. But as you can understand, it's not really important to do it continuously because that's not really, you will not receive any so incredible benefit. But at least you have to compound them at least one time a week. Obviously, you have always to pay attention on how much do you pay for uh, compounding them because each uh, blockchain to uh, give you the opportunity to compound your rewards also uh, is asking to you some fees. So, for example, on Polygon, fees are so low that you can compound them even hourly or even every minute if you uh, every minute if you want. But on a blockchain like Ethereum, trying to compound your earnings every hour is quite a nonsense because you will start paying so much fees that uh, it's more uh, what you are you paying than what are you earning. So always do your math well. Okay, let's try to summarize. Remember, APR, it means uh, the interest that you earn without compounding. APY, it means uh, the interest that you are compounding. Usually, when you find APY on a website, it means uh, the interest that you will earn if you compound them every day. Uh, as you saw in the, the calculator before, the difference between compounding every day or every week is not so high. But I highly recommend you to uh, compound them at least once a week. But always remember that to compound them, you have to interact with the blockchain and interacting with the blockchain, it means that you have to pay some transaction fees. So do well your math to be sure that what are you paying is less than what are you receiving uh, instead by earning uh, the compounding interest. I hope that this quick video helped to understand the difference between APR and APY. Uh, you can use one of the many different tools that are on uh, the, the web. And uh, I, see you I will see you tomorrow. And please leave, leave me a thumbs up to help me spread the word. And if you want to stay always updated, just press the subscribe button. If you want to also receive a notification on your device every time I publish a new video, you can go through the ring bell button. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.